Hello everybody, um, Killer Tia here. Um, sorry I haven't been making much videos the past few weeks. Um, um, there are things that have been going on in real life, um, real life job and, um, taking most of my time for starters and, um, definitely getting some more hours there. But I've also been trying to plan ahead because, um, I'm basically going to E3 again this year, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. If you have any games you want me to check out E3, um, just let me know in the comments below. But, um, I didn't just make this video to make that announcement, um, I figured, um, since I haven't, like I said, I haven't made a video in a while, I'll basically show you what kinds of games and, um, collectibles I've been picking up since the last video I did. The last real video I did, I did which should have been the, um, look at the Power Ranger Legacy War games. Which I'll put a link in the description or in the eye in like the um, upper left corner or something here. And uh, one of the things I want to show off is the um, red iPhone. Yeah, I managed to pick up red iPhone 7 Plus. And um, really, other than like the colors, it's not really a huge upgrade. At least in my opinion. Not a huge upgrade to my old iPhone 6 Plus. But um... Uh, I basically got this because one, the camera was is way better on this. The fact that it can do 4K video, which is, as a matter of fact, I'm using the iPhone to make this video, and it had about 128 um, gigs of memory on board here, which is huge compared to my old model, which only had like 16 gigs. So yeah, and best of all, I got it on a sale at Best Buy, which basically was. Well, on a monthly installment, the same price as my old iPhone, so I figured, hey, better camera, more space, you know what? It does have a little bit more processing power. Okay, let's go on ahead and just pick this up here, so, yeah. Also, I do like the fact that it is a red iPhone, so. Anyways, um, another thing I picked up recently was a box for Secret of Evermore. And I gotta say, um... Why just a box? Because I already had a game one from years ago. Here, let me show you the game real quick here. Yeah, I got this game years ago for like 30 loose here. And, um, and I, so I figured since I got this game, I might as well pick up the box as well. Um, the box was about, um, $40. I got a place called, um, Game Crest, which, if I'm being honest here, was a kind of a crest to get there, but... Being able to have a box copy for a game I have loose, I think it was worth the trip and the money here. Because basically I'm making my $30 game into a $70, $70 collectible here. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, then speaking of games, um, also picked up um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 here. And um, there was an here's an interesting story behind this. Um, I was at another game store. Which was selling a PS2 version of this game for like 70 plus stars. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I kind of know that it was a hard to find game, but a rare game, whatever terminology you like to use here, but $70? Like, I could find it at a GameStop for like 31 And lo and behold, the next day I went to a GameStop and I found like the Wii version, the Wii version of Ten like Tenkaichi 3 for like $31. Like, I don't know, maybe the PS2 version is a lot rarer than the Wii version. I don't know, but I just figured $30 would be a better value than $70. And, and I can be honest here, I think Tenkaichi 2 was a better game, but there was certainly a fan. There certainly is a fan, fan base for this game here. Um, and then um, my next pickup was um, Starbucks, um, excuse me, Star Fox Adventure. Now... I know people like to rag on the game, but I personally enjoyed it for what it is. Yeah, Star Fox being in this game felt kind of shoehorned in, but, you know, the gameplay was solid and the graphics were pretty nice as well. So, you know, I wanted to play this game again and, you know, found it for $20. So, seemed like a very reasonable price here. And then lastly, my last game for this pickup video was um, Amazing Island. Um, if you haven't heard about it, it's basically a game where you can actually, like, create your own monsters and 
enter a series of competition inviting, involving timing, speed, and head-to-head -head battles. So, yeah, I, I felt that was an interesting concept to explore in maybe a future video. And plus, it was done by Sega for the Nintendo GameCube. And I gotta say, Sega for the most for the most part had did a good job making games for the GameCube. Heck, they were the only company that actually made an online game for the GameCube when Nintendo was like, no, not really. So anyways, yeah, that's the pick up video and slash um, what the heck's happening with me in real life. So yeah, if you have anything to say, that put them in the comments below. Anyways, um, catch y'all later and we're gonna see how the um, 4K video turned out, so yeah, adios everybody.